Hello and welcome to the Robotics Bootcamp. In this video, we will be discussing how to build our robots. You will be using tools to assemble the VEX SquareBot and ClawBot. Assembling SquareBot The first thing we are going to assemble is our chassis rail. Gather two chassis rails, four bearing flats, eight long screws, and eight nuts. Secure the bearing flats using two screws per flat as shown. Next, attach the brain to the chassis rails. Use four large screws and nuts to fashion the brain at its corners. The exact position of the brain isn't important, so put it somewhere in the center as shown. Then, attach the two bumper rails at the end of the chassis rails using four short screws and nuts as shown. It's important to make sure the bumper sticks out equally on both sides of the chassis rails. Next, we, we will assemble the two outer chassis rails using four bearing flats, eight long screws, and nuts. Make sure when fastening the bearing flats, the space for the axles and the outer rails line up with the inner rails. Secure the outer rails to the rest of the assembly at the corners of the bumper rails with two short screws and nuts per rail as shown. Next we will assemble the battery holder frame using four two inch standoffs, eight short screws, and a panel. Fasten the four standoffs at the centers of the outer rails, each three holes apart and equal distance from the bumper rails. When fastening, hold the screw in place using your Allen wrench and turn the standoff by hand. Now, secure the panel at the top of the standoff using four screws as shown. Fasten the black plastic battery holder on to the top of the panel using two long screws and nuts. Next, we will attach the motors to the inner chassis rails. You will need four small motor screws, two motors, two motor shafts, and two bearing flats. Slide the motor shaft into the motor output slot. Put a bearing flat over the output shaft. Fasten motors to inner drive rail using two small motor screws through the bearing flats into the motors as shown. If motor screws stop turning, don't force them any tighter, you're likely bottoming out. The output shaft should stop halfway between the other two bearing flats. Next, we will put in the gears and wheels. Slide a shaft between the middle hole in one of the bearing flats. Place a collar on the inner rail side and tighten it in place with an allen key. Then place a collar, gear, and a collar in that order between the inner and outer rails and tighten these collars so that the gear is in the center of the rails. Do these steps for the other two sets of bearing flats on that side. Then place a wheel on the outside of the outer rails and fasten it in place with another collar for the corners. Do the same for the other sides. Finally, we will add our can corral. Take a panel and bend it and attach as shown. Now, it's time for ClawBot. Let's begin with the drive base. Assemble the inner and outer chassis rails, as you did in the first step, in SquareBot. Now we are going to add the front bumper plate. Add a chassis bumper mounting the outer chassis rail on the ends of each side and an inner chassis rail three holes from the side as shown. Now add the back mounting plate. Add another chassis bumper to the back of the robot, but place the bumper plate on the top side of the end of the rail as shown. Now add the gear and wheel. Slide a shaft between the middle hole in one of the bearing flats. Place a collar on the inner rail side and tighten it in place with an allen wrench. Then, place a gear on the outside of the outer rail. Do these steps for the other two sets of bearing flats on that side. Then place a wheel on the outside of the outer rail and fasten it in place with another collar for the corner. Do the same for the other side. Now it's time for the claw. Take the claw assembly and bolt it to the end of a C-channel. Bolt the other end of the C-channel to the largest gear as shown. Now add the back rails. Fasten two chassis rails to the bottom mounting plates with a four hole gap between each other, perpendicular with the bottom of the mounting plate. Now mount a motor on one side, 11 holes up from the bottom of the rails. Now put a shaft into the motor through, the, through both rails and place a collar, a 12th tooth gear, a collar, a collar, a 12th tooth gear, a collar, in that order between the inner and outer rails and tighten the collars so that the gears are the same distance away from each other as the biggest gears are. Finally, we attach the claw arm. Add a shaft where the center of the 84 tooth gear lies and place a collar. 
the arm assembly, a collar, in that order, between the inner and outer rails, and tighten the collars so that the gears meet up in the same spot.